Kate Middleton was spotted for the first time on video this past weekend at a Windsor farm shop near Windsor Castle shopping with Prince William, but despite this video footage, so many people are still not convinced it's her. The Princess of Wales Kate Middleton was murdered and replaced by a body double for public relations exercises, according to Princess Diana's best friend and at least two Palisades familiar with the matter. What is going on with Kate Middleton these days? The question so many are wondering after a botched editing job on a family photo added fuel to the fire with all of the Kate spiracies circulating. It's like everything that happened to his mom, Princess Diana, is happening to Kate. The apple clearly does not fall far from the tree. Where in the world is Kate Middleton? The world has been going crazy over Kate's disappearance, indulging in some of the craziest conspiracies. From her being in a coma to her being kidnapped and kept in the palace against her will. And apparently, Prince Williams knows all about it, but he's not doing anything. Maybe he's part of the plan? At least that's what the fans think. And with Prince Harry deciding to remove himself from the royal palace, fans are expecting him to expose what's really happening. And this isn't just your average tinfoil hat conspiracy. There's some seriously strange stuff going down, especially when you peek at the timeline. What's going on with Kate? Is she even alive? So first, she goes off the grid, vanishing into thin air for months. Then, we're hit with that whole fake photo debacle. And now, brace yourselves because the royals are dropping bombshells left and right, like casually introducing what looks like William's alleged mistress and their rumored love child. At first, people were messing around and I thought the internet was just hyping this up for clicks. But when you dive into the details, it gets more chilling than funny. And Kate is nowhere to be found. Like seriously, she can't even hop on a Zoom call to reassure everyone she's okay. You mean to tell me that this Kate Middleton, who was wearing four inch heels hours after she delivered her babies, walking down the front steps of the hospital for a breast shoot. Honestly, having a baby, abdominal surgery, I'm gonna put them probably close to the same level. You're telling me that she can't get out in front of the press and say, even just like a shoulders up video, and just say, hey everyone, thank you for the concern, thank you for the well wishes, I'm doing okay and I'll be right back out. So, let's rewind to December 20 soon. Kate announces a trip to Italy in early 2024. But hold up, if she's planning surgery for early 2024, why the vacation announcement? Then, on Christmas Day, the last sighting of Kate and the kids. Everyone's all smiles. But three days later, an ambulance with police escort zooms out of Sandringham, where the royals were celebrating. No word on what went down. On January 9th this year, when Kensington Palace didn't even bother with a social media post for Kate's 42nd birthday. No birthday love, no shout outs, nothing. That's weird, right? Then on January 17th, Kensington Palace hits us with a bombshell announcing Kate's admission to a private London hospital for abdominal surgery. Mum's the word on why she needed surgery, and she's expected to stay put for two weeks. During this time, no visits from the family or kids. Odd, right? January 18th, Prince William pops by the hospital. First and last visit, mind you. And on January 26th, King Charles swings by too. But still no family or kids in sight. Now, things take a wild turn on January 28th, when a Spanish journal claims Kate's in an induced coma post-surgery. The next day, Kensington Palace says she's discharged, but there are no pics of her leaving the hospital. Fast forward to February 1st, rumors swirl that Kate's recovery will take nine months, not three. Then, on February 5th, King Charles drops a bombshell about his cancer diagnosis. Meanwhile, Kate's still MIA. On February 7th, Prince Harry does a quick hospital visit to see his dad. But William, nowhere to be found and no public well wishes for Kate either. But here's the kicker. Where are Kate and William's kids in all of this? Nobody seems to be talking about them. I stumbled upon this super sketchy blind item that suggests Carol Middleton, Kate's mom, might be keeping the kids away from Kate. February 9th, reports surfaced that Kate's on the mend and chilling at Sandringham. But William, he's chatting about the Middle East conflict, solo style. Oh, and he cancels a memorial service appearance too, citing personal reasons. The next day, boom, where is Kate Middleton starts trending. Kensington Palace responds, saying Kate's out until after Easter. But the internet isn't buying it. March 4, 
TMZ drops a suspicious grainy paparazzi photo of Kate with her mum in a car near Windsor Castle. But something's off. Kate's looking different, especially her chin. And it gets weirder when royal reporter Emily Andrews spills the tea, revealing the palace pressured the media not to publish it as if that would stop the rumors. And just when you thought it couldn't get worse, on March 10th, the royals post a pic thanking everyone for support. Kate and William's official IG account shares a seemingly wholesome photo of Kate and the kids. But it's majorly edited, sparking chaos online. Kate's wedding ring missing? Check. Hair visibly photoshopped? Check. Manipulated sleeves? Check. It's like a game of Spot the Difference Royal Edition. A TikTok sleuth claims to have unearthed the original photos from November 2023, allegedly used to create this sham of a picture. First off, let's talk about that questionable photo. Kate's wearing the same boots and her daughter's rocking a similar neckline as in a previous baby bank visit. And those shoes? Identical! But wait, there's more. The older kid's sweater looks like a lighter version of one worn before. It's like they're recycling outfits. But the plot thickens when Reuters, AP, and Getty issue a kill notice, flagging the photo as manipulated. And there are some seriously shady signs of editing. Like, what's up with that blurry stone tile in the background and that weird break in the line? Oh, and don't even get me started on the ghostly edit around Charlotte's wrist. And get this. The pic was taken with a fancy lens, not just some phone snap. It's like they went all out on the editing afterward. Then, Kensington Palace drops a bombshell. Kate, the supposed surgical patient, claims she's just an amateur editor experimenting with photos. Yeah, right! Can you spot why photo news agencies told people not to use this image? The AP said there was no sign that the picture is fake, but there were several areas suggesting that this photo was edited. Including here, where the stone tile seems blurred and superimposed. Here, where this line has a weird break halfway through. And especially here, where there seems to be the ghost of an edit around Charlotte's left wrist. The metadata on this picture shows it was taken using an EFS 50mm lens, so it was probably not taken on a phone and was edited later. Kate has since posted a statement apologizing for editing the photo which instead of putting conspiracy theories around her planned January surgery to bed, only seems to have added fuel to the fire. This whole situation's a hot mess. Two days later, a Spanish journalist drops a truth bomb, claiming Kate was actually hospitalized on December 28th and was in serious condition. She even says there were complications after surgery, but the palace hushed it up. And now the hospital is under investigation because apparently someone breached Kate's medical record. We have a pretty major update in the Where is Kate Middleton conspiracy theory because now reports are alleging that the hospital where she was taken to have her abdominal surgery is under an active investigation because they believe somebody breached her private medical files. The Mirror has this exclusive story and this is a big deal because if you've been paying attention since the beginning of the Where is Kate Middleton conspiracy, you will remember that there were reports from Spanish journalist Concha Caleja stating that she had an inside source that she never named that claimed that Kate Middleton had been induced into a coma following complications from her abdominal surgery. And you'll probably remember that Kensington Palace officials came forth and denied these claims vehemently. They called it total nonsense. And then Kaleha doubled down and said, no, I trust my source explicitly. And you know what? Now that these headlines are coming out saying that they're investigating internally in the hospital that somebody accessed her records that wasn't supposed to, I'm thinking it's a really good chance it was her source. After that bombshell, the internet went full-blown conspiracy mode, connecting the dots quickly. Someone wrote, That's why I don't believe the person walking is Kate Middleton. That's not her. She's old in her 40s or something. That woman in the video doesn't look over 30. Please! We are not gonna be duped. Now rumors are swirling that Kate's illness is a cover-up for Will's elegant cheating shenanigans with Lady Rose Hanbury. And get this, they're even whispering about a love child. The same day they posted this story about Lady Rose Hanbury, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but she was a friend of Kate and she is currently pregnant. But the tea is, allegedly, the baby is Williams and she's keeping it and maybe that's why we haven't seen her so much on social media or in the tabloids because this is going on behind the scenes.
Now Kate Middleton pops up in a video over the weekend, hitting up a farm shop near Windsor Castle with Prince William. But surprise, surprise, not everyone's buying it's really her, despite the video evidence. Concerned people are raising some eyebrows. Like why is Kate, supposedly recovering from abdominal surgery, lugging around a bag like that? And did anyone else notice she's looking way younger in the video than she did just a few months ago? Some are even saying she looks like a total teen. Okay, so the royal family thinks we are a bunch of clowns because they're like, oh look, William and Kate at this farm, Windsor Farm this weekend, look. I don't know who that is, but that is not Kate. Oh, and don't even get me started on the rumors of a Kate Middleton body double. People are doing side-by-side -side comparisons of Kate from last December and the Kate in the video, and let's just say there are some major similarities. Kate Middleton has clearly been either murdered or kidnapped and replaced with a body double. And someone else said, here's the thing, she's been gone since like Boxing Day. That's really odd for one of the world's most visible and most photographed professionally and publicly people. So to quell rumors, she goes out shopping with hubby and the only pictures taken are from a distance. No one snapped a pic at the store, no one snapped a pic while they were out on the street. There was no public announcement. I know you've all been wondering where I've been, so here's what happened. There wasn't even an announcement during this whole thing by the prince asking for privacy. Something isn't right. But wait, there's more. People are asking why there's no security around or why nobody seems to be giving them a second glance in the background. And seriously, who goes to a farmer's market when you could just get food delivered straight to your door? According to a blind item, the palace is freaking out because Kate's disappearance is shining a spotlight on some major issues. Like who's gonna spill the beans first, the kids or Carol? And let's be real, kids suck at keeping secrets. And then there's the rumors about William wanting a divorce. Some say he's been plotting this for ages, blaming Kate's family for their financial mess. But here's the twist. Turns out, he might have been the one leaking dirt on Kate's family to justify the split. But why does all this matter? Because Kate was the golden girl of the monarchy. People loved her a lot, and if something shady happened to her, it could rock the royal family to its core. If that's really Kate in the video, it's kinda nice to see her looking like she's doing okay and in good vibes. But with all the crazy uncertainty and doubt flying around, it's no wonder people aren't quick to buy into the official story. I mean, we've got mixed up reports, photoshopped pics, and a ton of conspiracy theories swirling around. How are we supposed to figure out what's real and what's not? So, do you think that's the real Kate or is something going on behind the royal palace doors? Comment down below and if you like this video, don't forget to watch this next one.